Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today I'm going to share with you my review of the MSI GTX 960 Armor right over here. But before we begin this review, just a spoiler alert as always on my videos. And if you recall, I did review the MSI GTX 950 about two months ago or so and I'll post the link right over here just in case you want to check that out. Uh, there was something that I did like the least which was the noise levels uh, when the GPU is at idle which is nothing major but it's not what I call a dead silent GPU. View. On the other hand, the 960 that I've got right over here is the total opposite. This is a dead silent GPU, especially because the fans do not spin at all uh, when we are not pushing from the GPU like gaming. So uh, if you are doing something not intensive on the GPU, the fans are like this as they are now, which on my opinion is just awesome, just awesome. So that being said, guys, let's go straight for the video. And here we are with the MSI GTX 960 Armor that features 2GB of GDDR5 RAM with a base clock of 1178 MHz and turbo boosts up to 1241 MHz, 128-bit memory interface and 1024 CUDA cores. And regarding our usual and quick unboxing experience, once we open the package, we will find on the top a small case with a user guide, a CD with drivers and a DVI to VGA adapter and underneath a very well protected we will find the most important part of this unboxing which is the MSI 960. And taking a closer look at the front, it has that nice looking cooler with a dual fan system. At the back, a black PCB. On the right hand side, just a close up on the cooler. At the top, the SLI connector, that MSI logo, and the 6 pin power connector. And finally, on the left hand side, three display ports, one HDMI, and one DVI. Now, one of the things that I love on this GPU is that it only spins the fans when pushed on gaming or any other. The GPU demanding task. So basically when the computer is at idle or just being used to surf the web, read emails and other simple tasks, the fans are completely stopped which on my opinion is just something beautiful to watch. And right now I'm going to leave you guys for a few seconds just for the test results and I'll be right back.
And before we move on to the conclusion, just a few notes here, one of which is that for those that have a GTX 760 like I do, the 960 in terms of raw performance will not be a real upgrade, as we could see by all the tests. So for those that need more power, you'll be better with a 970 or even a 980. On the other hand, for those that are coming from a 750 or similar GPUs, then the 960, on my opinion of course, is just a great choice as it will deliver the same performance of the 760 while consuming less power and being more silent. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the white cooler that looks really nice on a white build, the performance and power consumption balance, silent while on gaming and dead silent when at idle. On the other hand, things that I did like the least was just the fact that we don't see any noticeable raw performance improvement from the 760 like we have seen on the past from the 750 to the 950. And that is it, we have reached the end of another review, this time the MSI GTX 960 Armor. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.